teachers and advance learning plans do you have a student that poses unforeseen questions generates complex abstract ideas knows without working hard is beyond their group of peers prefers the company of intellectual peers if so you might have a gifted student in your class this video is for you the classroom teacher who may or may not have had a gifted student before your role with a gifted or possibly gifted student is very important and we want to share what that role is as a teacher you are responsible for collaborating with your school gifted representative gifted representative is a part of the inclusion team since goals are aligned with the classroom instructions the classroom teacher of the identified area should be the primary writer of the students achievement goals so be it in music sports or academics the classroom teacher plays a very significant role so when we talk about reporting the student who's gifted to the inclusion team the first person who works closely with the student is the teacher as a teacher you're responsible for being involved with the referral and identification process of a possibly gifted student you may be the one referring the student to be evaluated you may be asked to complete an observational scale such as the ges on a student that is gifted evaluation scale you might participate in the review of your student's body of evidence for identification whether your student qualifies or does not qualify or whether the school decides to put the student for the talent pool but it is important for the child to get the recognition if he is different from other students gifted students can be identified as general or specific intellectual ability specific academic aptitude or specifically talented aptitude so either they are talented or they are good in academics or they are very very intellectual and have the leadership qualities for each category 95th percentile or above and or an exceptional or distinguished rating are used as a criteria for determining giftedness not meeting criteria on a single assessment does not prevent further consideration for identification as the teacher you are responsible for being involved in the development of advanced learning plan quarterly monitoring and reporting of the students achievement and or active goals every quarter the school gifted representative sends home how the student is performing measured by their achievement and effective goals you may be the person contacted to report to your school's gifted representative how your student is performing towards their goals this information should be shared with the parents and the teachers as a teacher you're responsible for being involved with delivering gifted programming as a classroom teacher you may be directly or indirectly involved with your students gifted programming depending on the day to day role ultimately you should attend the learning needs of the gifted students by accommodating with a variety of strategies and differentiating with the depth complexity and pacing for example if you are a maths teacher and the student is identified as gifted in maths it's your daily responsibility to meet their programming needs or if you are an elementary teacher but your student is identified gifted in music you will be collaborating with the music teacher to ensure that their gifted needs are met within or outside the school keep in mind a larger quantity of the same work as other students and 
or supporting other students is not adequate differentiation. Gifted thinkers are more likely to be engaged with learning when it is rigorous and challenging. Higher level questions, open-ended questions, real word problems. Extensions, independent or partner projects are very significant strategies for the gifted students to learn more about programming and options work with your school gifted representatives in the inclusion team and that will make your students perform well thank you